Glass was scattered all around the scene of the blast, and a bomb squad specialist paid particular attention to a backpack lying on the ground. There ended up being nothing threatening inside, but caution was understandable after a man police identified as Iranian blew his legs off nearby with a grenade. The events came a day after an Israeli diplomatic car was bombed in India. Israel blamed Iran for that attack, although Tehran denied responsibility. The explosions in Bangkok began Tuesday afternoon. Police say a stash of explosives apparently detonated by accident in Saeed Moradi's rented house, destroying part of the roof. Police who supplied CCTV footage say three foreigners then quickly left the residence. When police tried to arrest Moradi, he threw a grenade at them, but an official said it bounced back at him instead. The explosion may have shattered glass all around the neighborhood and left a crowd anxious outside a local school. The Thai prime minister called on people not to panic. Moradi survived the grenade blast itself and was being treated at a hospital. Four others also were hurt. Police said they detained a second Iranian at Bangkok's international airport. They were swarming around the damaged house in the evening, where they said they found more explosives, though the possible targets weren't immediately known. Israelis spoke out anyway. The defense minister said Iran and its proxies continued to perpetuate terror, while another cabinet minister promised a round of settling scores. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.